Oh, hi, I didn't see you there. I once again wasn't sure what to play, and then I decided, hey, let's start a frat house. So, I know the game's name suggests that it's about a cult, but um, I'm not going to play that way. I'm, I just want to start a frat house, hang out with some buddies, you know? Last time we tried this, things didn't really go as planned. Um, in the end, people started taking things too seriously and it kind of just spiraled out of control and turned into a cult. But um, this time, we're going to do it different. Uh, this time, we're just going to be a bunch of buddies, hanging out, having a good time, sharing some ideas, you know. But first, I got to deal with life. So, as you can see, things are not starting off so well. Uh, there's a bunch of frat people who are trying to initiate me. But these people, they've got the wrong idea. As you can see, all these other pledges that didn't make it. I don't think this is the right frat house for me. Hazing is one thing, but what these guys are doing is just like out of control. They've let the power go to their heads, so... See? Power went to their heads and now... They're gonna lose another member. This guy uh, doesn't seem too bad. Maybe, uh, oh, absolutely, dude. Of course. Thank you. That was a wise choice. So, uh, do you want to like start a frat, dude? Um, so far, it's just me. But I'm pretty sure, like, if at least you help out, there's two people. And two people are better than one. So, oh, cool, man. And that's the start of a frat house. I ignore that title. Well, see, this is what happens. You push things too far and your initiate will snap and... Yeah, I don't know what to say. You push things too far, guys. I'm getting out of here. Oh, hey, dude. You want to start a frat? Hey, I like... Dude, no, dude. Like, frats have... Frat brothers are supposed to stick together. Not like just abandon each other. Ugh. No, these guys are just, they're drunk. They are not going to work. They've had too much to drink and I had to just help them get home. Yay, we got a coin. Maybe if we've got enough coins, we can like afford a PlayStation 5 for the frat house. Maybe uh, like a pool. I don't know. See, the Fred is more like a community. We debate to look out for each other. And my idea is to like, we, we, we should make a difference in the world. Just like, um, you know, not just be the average frat house that just parties the whole time, gets drunk. We should be a bit more self sufficient so maybe do a bit of farming so we can i mean if we can grow our own food we don't need to make trips to the grocery store that much so yeah we save on gas save the environment almost have enough for some milk so uh it's uh instead of a threat from earlier Guys, 
just leave this guy alone okay he hasn't done anything to you guys he just wants to be a part and you guys are treating him that way oh more drunk people typical dude you can come with me there there's a safe passage to the house and once you're there we can like talk about making something of ourselves you know unfortunately we might not have made it into college but uh at least we we can still have the college experience just less classes more um friendship so uh let's go to the frat house and meet on your fret brother and get things on the road you know i think a problem i did last time was uh, we tried to push the fret house to evolve too fast we gained too many members and we ended up upgrading the fret house to its fullest before we were ready we uh, only defeated one of the main beast and we upgraded everything we could and people just started getting cocky because they didn't understand the pains of going out and showing these other frats that we're better than them what forte 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 dude we're gonna call you steve you look like a Steve. And you know what? On top of that, I think we should uh, give you a bit of a makeover, give you a better chance of socializing with people, you know, growing. And uh, yeah, I think you look more like. That's more like a Steve. There we go, dude. Uh, Let's uh, get you a nice uh, tie. Mm. Honestly, dude, this makes you look like a Pokemon. Chicks dig that. And uh, yeah, Steve, welcome to the frat. Why don't you like, uh, why don't we clean up a bit? You can chop some trees. Uh, hi, dude. You want to also join? Oh, come on. This dude's like on the fence. He's been like, when you guys didn't see him, he's been begging me to join. But every time there's a camera, he's just like, nah, uh, I'm out of here. This, I'm too cool for this. He doesn't understand what we're trying to do. We're just trying to have some fun, hang out, you know. Uh, be a bit more self-sufficient like start a farm maybe we can like share some ideas we can uh, we're, we're bringing some rituals of our own you know like stuff where we uh, where we like just do it for fun let's get going let's start a fire cooking okay where am i gonna build things let's clear back here and then we can have our kitchen over here where we can make like nice food maybe even someone has like a good brownie recipe you know where we can uh, cook some brownies uh, you know just stuff that guys do well, we're not going to exclude girls from this frat. It's just, it's starting off with me and Steve. No, we just, we we're best friends, me and Steve. I don't know if you guys know that, but yeah. Well, he's not my best friend, but I'm his best friend. So yeah, uh, it's, we're cleaning up a bit. Steve's helping out, chopping some trees. I'm getting some stone. 
we really were healthy, we like to eat well, take care of our bodies, take care of our well-being, you know? That's something people don't care about these days. Uh, they'll say, hey, how are you? And we'll just usually answer, oh, we're good, we're fine. Well, things in our lives are not fine or good. But it's become the norm. You don't want to hassle other people with your problems. But this frat, it's a frat, is, is a safe space where you can share your feelings. And if you, you know, if you're having a bad day, grab some cocoa, some berries. We hang around the statue fire. We should build a statue fire. That would look so cool. Should probably like plan it out. I think like a maybe a Pokemon statue would be cool. Surrounded by fire so that it lights up the statue. That would be cool. Yeah, we just hang out around the fire with some cocoa and berries, talk about our problems, you know. Sometimes a dude needs a hug, so we'll give hugs from time to time on special days. Most probably like uh, Fridays. Oh, nice and clear. So let's get building. There we go, a cooking spot. I'm gonna do a... Let's leave some space for the entrance. This seems like a good spot. Is there anything else we can build? Um, oh, some decorations, but we need other different items for them. Let's get this kitchen going. And let me cook my buddy Steve some nice basic berry bowl. Steve loves basic berry bowl. Oh dude, like we're just getting the frat started. We haven't even cleaned up nicely and now you already want me. Oh well, maybe I'll, I'll be able to find another member and then Steve can be his best friend or her best friend. Okay, so Steve, dude, you good, man? Let me give me a hand with that. Yeah. See, teamwork, dude. Always better with teamwork. We'll get this tree down in no time. So, yeah, dude, I wanted to tell you, like, I'm, I'm heading out quickly. I'm gonna see if we can find some more buddies, because it's always better to have more people in a frat house than, let's say you wanna have a barbecue, you can have someone who takes care of the fire, someone who cooks, someone who can make, like, drinks, Someone can uh, make sure everyone keeps their pants on in the pool. Dude, go have something to eat, man. I made you a nice berry bowl. And I'll be right back. Hey, Steve. Love you, man. Okay, let's go. I don't know who was put in charge of decorations, but uh, nah, this it's not even Halloween. Oh well. See, no normal frat stuff, like opening doors together. That, that's totally frat buddy stuff. Okay, we're going on an adventure, guys. There's more people that need to be safe from the bad frat house. Who could really use it like a friend. Yeah, oh. there we go. 
I'm just uh, getting some wood for my friend, Steve. I didn't want to mention anything when I was back at the frat house, but you know, Steve, I don't, I don't know if it's going to work out with him. He kind of like, at that first he seemed cool, but then the other day he was like, yo man, want to smoke with cigarettes? And I was like, no, no thank you, Steve. Oh, huh. this dude looks cool. Want to play some Yu-Gi-Oh, man? Okay. Uh, it's my turn. I'll use the lover's one and take down your blue eyes. There we go. Good game, bro. Nice playing with you. See you again when you've got a better strategy. Ah, oh, why is there so many drunk people around? Really? These other threats are getting out of control. They get drunk, they don't show up to class. And they're not even good with sorting out their lighting. Leshy or whatever your name is, bro. You guys had your chance and you blew it. You literally, you blew it. And now it's too late. Now I've started my own threat and no one's in control we're, we're all just friends hanging out we're all equals hmm. maybe i should talk to steve about appointing someone to like help play a leading role just to help if there's any disputes in the future just help sort things out but this person needs to have a clear conscience and be impartial to decisions contact sides so it clearly can't be Steve because he will uh, always take my side but there has to be someone else in our cult except for Steve who can do this hmm a hay pile that gives me an idea I should probably take on the leading role just to you know help with the admin work let's go into the unknown it's always more fun to not know what's gonna happen and then be surprised with strawberry ice cream strawberry ice cream what i can't even eat the strawberry ice cream oh mow this lawn so someone's got to do it like yes you can clearly see no one has mowed that lawn in quite a while and someone's got to do it this is part of our community work as a frat house we help to keep the environment neat as you can see, I, I don't destroy the plants, I just cut them shorter so that uh, they can grow back stronger and it can look neat. We don't have any creeps hiding out in the grass. Families are much safer. Our other frat brothers are much safer or frat sisters. There we go. Got some more wood for Steve. Ah, dealing with drunk people. Using in the beginning it's such a thing like why why but you know after a while it's just like oh yeah happy hour hmm maybe there's a Yu-Gi-Oh master nearby haha -ha. there we go up for another match I'm gonna use my shield of faith to destroy your dark magician haha -ha. And you're open for an attack. I win. Again. You should go to a card shop, get some better cards, dude. Go fight some more drunk people. Keep the streets clean. Oh, you guys are back for more? Ooh. There we go. And this one we'll recycle because it's good for the environment. Oh, see, less shy, can you like get out of my way, I'm trying to find some recruits, and it, what the hell dude, dude, that was, that was, that guy was part of his threat, 
and he would just get him intoxicated like that? Not cool, man. Huh, don't worry dude, you can come with me. My friend Steve will be so glad to see a new face. Ah, let's just get some seeds. I think I should put Steve in charge of maintenance. Let's head back home, hang out a bit. Maybe someone has like a PlayStation that we can play. Forgot mine back at home, so um, let's hope someone brought a PlayStation. There's this one little mosquito. Ah, oh, Ratao. You finally decided to join? Cool, dude. Should hang around, man. Um, we do see us? Nah, bro. Your parents didn't love you. Looking good in blue, dude. Nah, you you look you perfect just the way you are, man. Come, Luigi, buddy. So, uh, have you heard of this dude named Steve? You'll meet him soon enough. Oh, cool. Yeah, dude. So, like Steve thinks he's, he's my best friend, but, um, you know, who is Steve, by the way? God better be chopping some wood. Oh, Steve! Hey, buddy! How are you doing? Have you met a uh, new friend, Luigi? Keep doing what you're doing, Steve. You're doing a great job, man. This this frat is gonna be so much better off for what you're doing for us. So just keep it up, buddy. I'll I'll, I'll go out there and recruit some more people. And you chop some trees, man. How about uh, yeah, dude? Like here's a nice spot we can hang out. See teamwork. Huh? You guys like you like it? Oh, why does this guy keep saying followers? The dude, dude, get out of here! We're a frat. We're buddies. Hey man, welcome to. Uh... No, no 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 no! It's not a cult. Um, it's a frat, dude. Jano, Jano. Let's give you some. There we go. That suits you. There we go. Some face paint. No, uh, let's 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 name you Kyle. You look like a Kyle. Sure, Kyle. You can join our uh, frat. I would like you to. Uh, wait, what? What the hell? No, no, dude. You can. You can. Just okay. Just go. Just go hang out. This is supposed to be a fight, but um, this is what I am had in mind when I wanted to build a fire pit but okay we can start here and we've got some wood at least so we can bolt from here oh what's what's next oh another different fire Te no you know what we'll call it a temple but this is more of a clubhouse this is where we'll do our fun frat activities like um, our version of of, of uh, hazing and stuff, you know. Like we're not gonna break anyone down and make them feel bad. This is a place for upliftment, where frat people can get together, and you know we can like just discuss everyday problems, economy, rising prices of cooking oil. It's become so expensive to like make brownies because cooking, I mean, yeah, everyone's started a bakery for some reason and now cooking oil prices are skyrocketing. Life is difficult, man. The other night I had to make 
flapjacks, they're also known as pancakes, and I, I had to make it using butter instead of cooking oil. What has the world come to? Oh, see, that's our high five loyalty. The more the frat people, the frat friends hang out, that's what we'll call it, frat friends. Let me, since you guys don't have a normal class, I think I, I, I should initiate an education system. Just teach you guys a bit um, of the stuff I've learned when I went to university. And maybe you guys can also, maybe they can also make something of their lives. Like for one, Steve, Steve was going nowhere in life. And I think through the right programs and initiatives by the um, threat head, uh, which is me, I had to take that role since Steve was not equipped with it and we didn't have any other one else at that moment. I was the only viable option. So yeah, um, as, as the threat uh, lead, leader, no, not leader, uh, as the head of the threat, I have to take initiatives to make sure that the other threat members, threat friends, threat buddies, threat buddies, also have a good life and the threat doesn't just turn into like a homeless shelter. Like, not that we weren't taking homeless people, but we're here to turn around lives. So if you come here, we teach you some skills, like um, uh, Steve is learning some lumberjack skills, and our friend uh, Luigi is learning some mining skills. But uh, Kyle, yeah, sorry, Kyle's, Kyle's a lost case. So this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship, I think. Right, Kyle? Yeah. Hmm. Look at them, guys. Just look at them. I think they're becoming friends. This is what it's all about. Friendship. We're gonna change lives. And uh, this is where we're gonna end for today. I'll see you guys again next time. Why am I whispering? So, thanks for joining me. I'll see you guys next time as we try and grow our frat house a bit, make some new friends, and who knows, maybe we can get like a table tennis or a hockey table. All of that will depend on Steve. He's been having a nasty attitude. See you guys. Thanks for joining.